Be like say the girl with the date the nepa official with the in charge of my area don't break your heart. <laughs> Even when they take the brake light, they take off my area, not be ordinary. <laughs> That's wickedness. <laughs> then the brake light, they take light for my area, like act of wickedness. <laughs> you could not say the person in charge of this <laughs> something they pay now. <laughs> Be like the girl, don't tell her, say, I'll not do again. Mm. You never go tell her, say, you don't do oh, again. Uh, you don't do again. Nah, bet me. <laughs> Which area they stay again? <laughs> if I get like past two minutes, man, I will think of something. <laughs> the way we light stay, they come. <laughs> It just be like saying that they monitor you. <laughs> I mean, the guy don't install CCTV for the whole area, even for your house. <laughs> Never go bring line like this. Boom! Everybody go shout. Up number. <laughs> then I go bring my phone, make a charge my phone. He go leave you. <laughs> As you bring your charger, he go leave you. <laughs> You put the charger. capacity. <laughs> the moment you plug a pill, they don't take out. <laughs> As in the time we go pay you well, well. <laughs> if they come monitor you, you can't see saying only you day house. Ah, light good day. <laughs> you gonna enjoy light. <laughs> the moment you make call, call babe. Hello, babe. I'm at home. The girl go first ask you, do you have light? You know there is heat. Just come, there is light. There has been light. She <laughs> 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 will leave you if you walk and they come. Immediately when she don't, they open your, your, your door. Bam, never go take light. <laughs> you know, go know when you start to explain. Baby, don't worry. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I beg, <laughs> if you don't say now nah, you the dead damn nepo official, <laughs> whatever misunderstanding you had with him, I don't want to know. <laughs> Go and settle with your boyfriend. <laughs> because this light, no be ordinary. <laughs> with the complaint say he today, you can't take light on top. <laughs> don't you have human conscience? <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't feed that time again, recommend to run. <laughs> I be just not finished for this area. Then they take life for my area too. I beg, I be not only my area. <laughs> Mama mia. The two-day visit by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to Qatar to war investors continues to generate reactions from a cross-section of Nigerians. Over the weekend, President Tinubu asked Qatari investors to bring their investments to Nigeria, adding that they should report public officials who demand bribe from them. The president spoke during the Nigeria-Qatar Business and Investment Forum in Doha on Sunday. Don't offer bribe. And if it's taken from you, revert to us. All right, let me take this tweet. Uh, this person wrote... President Bola Tinubu's commitment to fighting corruption and promoting a conducive business environment is commendable, encouraging Qatari investors to report any instances of bribery involving Nigerian government officials, demonstrates a strong stance against corruption and underscores the importance of transparency in fostering economic growth and foreign investment. Another person says, he just made a statement of no confidence to the public. No right-thinking investor will proceed after such a statement because the hallmark of productivity and prosperity in a country is leadership. Statements like this always sends the wrong signal. Well, in the meantime, when Tinubu arrived at the presidential palace for the Business and Investment Forum on Sunday, he was received by Qatari captains of industry and some Nigerian delegates who accompanied the president to Qatar, including his two sons, Shei and Yinka Tinubu. Thank you. 
right, we see Shehi and Yinka Tinubu there. People are asking, I mean, what portfolio do they hold? I mean, was this an escrow? I mean, what is their position there at this point? Let me take this tweet from uh, Brother Bath. He wrote, Nigerians must stop Tinubu from taking his sons, Shehi, for official state matters. It is dangerous. One, why are Nigerians keeping quiet? While Bola Tinubu mess Nigeria with impunity. Here is Shehi Tinubu as part of presidential team to Qatar state visit. This is the same president's son that took the presidential jet for leisure to go watch polo game in Kano. Three, what laws of Nigeria allows a president to take his children as official delegates to state visits? Four, what kind of passport does Shehi Tinubu hold presently? Five, how much longer will this nonsense continue? Six, well-meaning Nigerians, elites, must rise and address this gradual destruction of Nigeria as a state under rule of law. Dr. Bati, over to you. Okay, first, you know, you are talking about those two boys. There. Yeah. So Men. Yeah, well, I don't know how old they are. I'm sure I'm much older than they are. Okay. But <clears throat> what I'm saying is that first, Nigerians complained mm -hmm. that they should not have been on the delegation. Mm -hmm. We asked about the bona fide. The issue we raised then is that, yes, if their father is paying for them to be there, fine. I also raised the question, if they have the relevant qualifications, if they are business people in their own right, and they can bring investment and they will make a contribution, okay, maybe, then, you know, you say, okay, they have a reason to be there. But what I find disturbing in that uh, video that we just showed is that in terms of the order of protocol, I spent four years studying diplomacy. And I, I'm not boasting about all it. Right. I took courses. Mm -hmm. I took exams right. and all of that. I read the books. They were coming in terms of the order of protocol before the ministers <laughs> of the Federal Republic. <laughs> now, what is their rule there that they will come? They, even, they are even put there before the minister of foreign affairs. Yes. Uh, who is going to explain that uh, protocol arrangement? you know, to us as Nigerians. And then uh, uh, further, may we begin to ask, what do the uh, president's children, what do they do for a living? I mean, by the time I was their age, you know, I don't know specifically how old they are, but by, from looking at them, by the time I, I was their age, I was doing something concrete You're with my life. PhD. I was not, uh, I got a PhD at 24. Yes! I wasn't depending on any father. Absolutely not. So people must get to a stage in their lives where they hold themselves together. I don't want adults behaving like invalids, hanging around. Just because your father is in a position, all these children of privilege sometimes overdo it. Yeah. And these are boys that will probably have wives at home. Some of these girls, what they go through is very embarrassing. You can't have a, 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 a husband that's just hanging around. Wow. That cannot stand on his two feet as men. 